why engineering and then why health management like when was it when you thought that okay health management can be a good career option for you so ma'am can we start with you yeah sure so yes. like you know that i am a biomedical engineer yes ma'am so somewhere i was always passionate about this particular stream where in it's somewhere related to health you know i studied subjects like electro electronics electrical plus anatomy plus physiology and all of that is an amalgamation of learning about medical medical equipments yes and then i did, and since third year i had this passion for medical industry for medical for healthcare and i was really passionate about it so i just wanted to do something with respect to my graduation which could somewhere align to my post graduation so that's when i was very firm in doing my post graduation with ihmr so that's Fair how enough, this ma'am. happened Okay, I have another question lined up from you, depending on your answer. But I'll keep that on hold. Okay. I'll put okay. a pin on it. <laughs> okay. So, sir, how come a chemical engineer decided to turn into a health management uh, graduate? How? Ah, uh, yeah. So, engineering was kind of my family thing. Everybody okay. wants to be engineer. India. <laughs> yeah, specifically South India, you know. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so yeah, that's where uh, engineer and chemical engineering. It's uh, it was my dad, so he works in a petroleum industry. Okay. So I was quite familiar with what he does. So we thought, okay, let, I mean, my career would be there. So that's where I started. Then once I started the internship in the chemical industry, then I thought my interest must. I mean, I don't. I, I was not very interested in what I was doing. Then I thought, okay, let me just get out of what I. what my family does and let me do something else yeah engineers then, are uh, actually in famous for that let's do engineering first and then decide what we can do and they are multi talented exactly. i suppose like, like they'll be uh, able to do everything it's like after you finish your school engineering then you decide what to do in life yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah similar to that happened with me and uh, so yeah after engineering then uh, i left uh, the internship in the chemical industry and joined uh, dell i had no idea what's going to be my project there Okay. So that's where my first uh, healthcare. Uh, I mean, I got introduced to healthcare, so I luckily got into a healthcare project there for a US billing, hospital billing, and then I learned okay, there is a healthcare industry as well, which I have ignored all this time. I, I mean, it was new to me. I have never uh, thought there is a course for this, and there is a huge. I mean, huge healthcare uh, in IT industry, and then a lot of industry hospitals, and we they all also require uh, healthcare managers, engineers who can contribute to their field. So yeah, that's where I thought, okay, let me do this course first, learn more about hospitals, what's healthcare management, and then come back to the healthcare IT. So yeah, but to this course, then did my course started with hospital. thought okay let me see the because i had since from engineering background uh, i learned but i never got a real exposure to it what's going on in the real hospital so i thought okay let me start with hospital and yeah almost like 8 months i was uh, training and then uh, i mean hmr we have almost in every interest i mean every parts of uh, healthcare we have so some one of my uh, classmate she referred me in deloitte and then got into it and then yeah then uh, now being more into healthcare started with the inpatient uh, workflow module and then moved to lab now yes now currently sticking to lab